to insert the battery, if you look at the back of the battery, you'll notice there's an arrow on the left hand side. This is the direction you want to slide the battery uh, into the back of the battery compartment. To release the battery, just push down the battery release button and you should be able to slide out the battery. An alternative to using the battery is to use a battery power adapter, which you can link up to the power mains on a wall socket. To prevent the cable being damaged, um, I usually wrap around the cable uh, around the hand grip of the camera, uh, making sure there's enough space to actually fit the uh, DC cable into the DC port, which is just underneath the battery. The JVC HM100 records onto SD card. It is recommended that you use class 6 or above, anything between 8 gigabytes uh, up to 32 gigabytes, and it's best to use a SanDisk or SanDisk Extreme. On the left hand side of the camera, underneath the LCD screen, you find two slots A and B. Uh, this is where you insert the SD card. Make sure the label of the SD card is facing up when you insert it and carefully push the SD card in. To take the SD card out, push gently and the SD card should spring back out. When you take the SD card out, keep it in a dust-free case uh, to protect it from dust or from being scratched. On the left-hand side of the JVC, you can pull out the LCD viewfinder. To cool up the menu features, you can press the menu button located opposite the LCD viewfinder. You should see a menu screen, and to navigate the different sub-menus, you use the mini joystick on the left-hand side of the viewfinder, which you do have to use quite carefully because it is very fragile. Using the joystick, scroll down to file format, and the option to choose out of the two formats is QuickTime file format. Always choose this option. Scroll down to system select to choose your resolution and the frame rate. You'll find that there's a huge list of resolutions and frame rates. If filming and editing in the UK, uh, it's recommended that you choose 50 stroke 25. And then you, all you have to do is to either select 1080 or 720. Uh, 1080 will give you options to shoot full HD, but unfortunately it doesn't allow you to shoot 50 frames per second. If you want to shoot 50 frames per second, then you have to use a slightly lower resolution, and that is 720. Come back into the main menu and scroll down to record mode, and here you can either select interlaced or progressive. If you want to shoot full HD, then I recommend that you choose the option at the bottom, which is 1920 stroke 25p HQ and that will give you full HD 25 frames progressive. To format the card in the main menu scroll down to media settings and push down. Choose format and choose the slot which your card is inserted. Choose file and navigate to yes. Remember that formatting your card deletes all the files off the card, so make sure that you back up any files that you may have recorded. To open the lens, on the left hand side of the camera is the open and close switch to open the lens cap. On the left hand side of the LCD screen you'll find the focus switch uh, to switch between automatic focus and manual focus. Uh, I recommend that you set it to manual focus. Above the automatic and manual focus switch is the focus zoom switch. Push up towards focus. Now you can manually adjust the focus using the focus ring. To manually adjust the exposure, press the full auto button. This cycles between manual and auto, but I recommend that you choose manual because this gives you more control on exposure. At the back of the camera, you find the iris button and the shutter button. To adjust the aperture, press the iris button down and the iris should be highlighted in the LCD viewfinder as an F number and then you can use the uh, scroll button below to adjust the aperture value. The same process applies to the shutter. Press the shutter button down to highlight the shutter and use the scroll button to adjust the value of the shutter speed. Below the aperture and shutter is the gain. Um, I recommend you set this to 0 dB. You'll find the gain switch on the left hand side of the camera where you have three options, low, medium and high gain. 
The white balance switch is located on the right hand side of the gain where you have three options, B, A and preset. To do a manual white balance, set the switch to A or B and at the front of the uh, you'll find the white balance button labelled AWB. Push down and hold to perform the white balance. To connect sound microphones, you can connect two external microphones to the JVC. The external mic that comes with the JVC HM100 is located at the top where the hand grip is. Make sure you position the mic so that it's facing in the right direction and then make sure that you screw it back in. Make sure that you connect the microphone to the XLR input located on the handle of the camera. There is another XLR input if you desire to connect another external microphone. If you have just the one external microphone connected to input 1, then make sure that the spare input, channel 2 input, is set to switch input 1. If you do have a second microphone connected to input 2, make sure that this switch, channel 2 input, is set to input 2. For each input, there is three settings. There is mic plus 48V, or mic or line. If the external mic that you're using has no batteries, then set the switch to mic plus 48V. If it is powered by batteries, set it to mic. If you are connecting the camera to uh, an amplifier, then set the switch to line. To adjust the audio levels manually, set the audio select to manual. You can then use the audio dials on the right hand side for channel 1 and channel 2 adjust until you get the correct sound levels. As a tip I recommend setting either channel 1 or channel 2 slightly lower than the other and what you want to make sure is that you're not getting your audio levels to go in the red area otherwise your audio will peak and will sound distorted. To select the correct slot in which your card is inserted push down on the A stroke B button and there you can cycle between A or B you should be ready to start filming now. At the back of the camera on the right hand side you'll find the record button. Push down to record and to stop recording push down the record button again. To play back what you shot opposite the LCD viewfinder above the menu button is the cam media button. Push down call up the playback features. You should be able to navigate uh, the clips that you've recorded using the joystick once you've chosen the right clip to play back, push down on the joystick and you should be able to play back your recording.